A common misconception about paleontology is that we have completed museum quality skeletons ready for display as soon as we leave the field. After all, we got the bone out of the ground, why not just leave it like it is? To answer that, I'm going to talk about my favorite part of my job, fossil preparation. The rock, or matrix, that surrounds a fossil has been successfully supporting it for tens of millions of years. That, combined with the field jacket that we made, holds it all together and keeps it safe on the trip back to the lab. Once we're in the lab, we have more controlled conditions where we can devote minute attention to detail on the fossil and use more delicate tools that aren't available to us in the field. First is the air scribe. It's like a miniature jackhammer that chips the rock away. We use air abrasion, which is like a tiny version of a sandblaster, to clean off the surfaces of the bones. Pin vices and X-Acto knives help us do a lot of the small things. And magnification helps us see a lot of tiny details so we can get really nitty gritty with the work. We use a variety of glues to stabilize the bone and keep it together. Some of the most important tools we use are notebooks and cameras, so we can document every stage of what we're doing. It's remarkable how often taking thorough scientific data helps us even years down the road when we're doing a reconstruction or studying a fossil. When preparing a fossil, we start by doing the easy work first. As a general rule, wherever the work is easy is where the bone is in the best condition. We follow a good surface, gluing and preserving as we go. When we get to a spot on the fossil that hasn't survived the eons as well, the rest of the bone is stable enough to hold together while we work on the tough stuff. We're constantly consulting field notes and discussing work with other preparators. Getting a second set of eyes from someone else in the lab or talking to scientists in other prep labs puts more minds on the task and helps yield a better final result. When the matrix is cleaned off and the bone is stabilized, we have a nicer looking and easier to study fossil.